In a world where people are increasingly living to older ages, unfortunately loss of capacity is a very common issue. As advisors, we need to be careful in looking for this. Some common red flags to look for are older age in general, not that old age in itself means that you lack capacity, but in the context of estates where there may be claims, contentious matters, it can be something that people seek out and seek to make that assertion. The other is illness. So commonly things like dementia and other mental illnesses are red flags, doesn't always mean that someone lacks capacity. It can also be other illnesses such as end of life um, terminal cancer, where the individual may have their judgment impaired due to the treatment they received. Where loss of capacity may be an issue, we need to seek um, detailed medical advice and a capacity assessment before the client executes their documents to avoid them later being challenged. We should write to the client's doctor, but we're increasingly seeing that GPs are unprepared to provide these assessments because they want a specialist um, geriatrician or other specialist to provide this due to the risks involved. When writing, we explain the documents to the doctor, but we also explain the detailed tests to the doctor in terms of the legal tests for loss of capacity, which differ between wills and powers of attorney and appointments of injuring guardian. We need to ask the doctor to see the client on their own without the family member present and we need to ask them to set out detailed reasons for their decisions including the methodology and use which can be used later. In terms of the test for capacity, that differs between different documents but for wills commonly it's looking at does the client understand the document as a will, do they understand the nature of their assets, do they understand the nature of any claims that may be against their estate and do they have um, a mental illness.